Hello students, in the previous video, we learned about area and solve exercise 10.2 and 10.3, sum number 1, 2 and 4. Today, we are going to solve remaining sums. So now, let us solve it. Exercise 10.3, sum number 5. What is the cost of tiling a rectangular plot of land 500 meters long and 200 meters wide at the rate of rupees 8 per 100 square meters? Students, in this question, we have to find out the total cost of tiling a rectangular plot and we have been given the land and breadth of a rectangular plot which are 500 meters and 200 meters respectively. Students, we have been also given the cost of tiling a rectangular plot which is rupees 8 per 100 square meters. Students, so in order to find out the total cost of tiling a rectangular plot, we have to first find out the area of a rectangular plot. Then, we have to find out the total cost of tiling a rectangular plot. Students, note that we have to find out the area of a rectangular plot as it is given to us that cost of tiling at the rate of rupees 8 per 100 square meters. So, students, also note that if it is given to us, then find the cost of tiling at the rate of rupees 8 per 100 meters. Then, we have to find out the perimeter of a rectangular plot. Thus, in this sum, the word square meter is given. So, we have to find out the area and not the perimeter. So, now, let us solve sum number 5 and find out the area of a rectangular plot and also the total cost of tiling a rectangular plot. After writing the necessary details given to us, length of a rectangular plot is given 500 meters. Breadth of a rectangular plot is given 200 meters. Therefore, area of a rectangular plot equals to how much? Thus, the area of a rectangular plot equals to length into breadth equals to 500 into 200 equals to 1 lakh square meters. Thus, the area of a rectangular plot is 1 lakh square meters. Students, now we have to find out the total cost of tiling a rectangular plot of 1 lakh square meters. Students, note that we have been given the cost of tiling a rectangular plot which is rupees 8 per 100 square meter and not rupees 8 per 
one square meters. So now let us find out the total cost of tiling a rectangular plot. Cost of tiling a rectangular plot for 100 square meter equals to rupees 8. Therefore, cost of tiling a rectangular plot for 1 lakh square meters equals to how much? Now, by cross multiplying, we get 1 lakh multiplied by 8 divided by 100. Now, multiplying 1 lakh by 8 and keeping 100 as it is, we get 8 lakh by 100. Now, dividing 8 lakh by 100, we get rupees 8000. The, the total cost of tiling a rectangular plot of 1 lakh square meters is rupees 8000. Now, sum number 6. A table top measures 2 meter by 1 meter 50 centimeters. What is its area in square meters? Students, in this question, we have to find out the area of a table top in square meters. Students, we have been given the length and breadth of a table top, which are 2 meters and 1 meter 50 centimeters respectively. Thus, a table top is in rectangular shape. Students, in this sum, we have been given two different units, namely meter and centimeter. Thus, we have to convert one unit to another unit. Students, it is clearly given to us that find the area in square meters. So, we have to convert centimeters into meters. Thus, converting 1 meter 50 centimeters into meter, we get 1.50 or 1.5 meters. So now, let us solve sum number 6 and find out the area of a rectangular table top after writing the necessary details given to us. Land of a rectangular table top is given 2 meters. Bread of a rectangular table top is given 1 meter 50 centimeters equals to 1.50 meter or 1.5 meters. Therefore, area of a table top equals to how much? Thus, the area of a rectangular table top equals to length multiplied by breadth equals to 2 multiplied by 1.5 equals to 3.0 or 3 square meters. The, the area of a table top equals to 3 square meters. Now, sum number 7. A room is 4 meter long and 3 meter 50 centimeters wide. How many square meters of carpet? is needed to cover 
the floor of the room students in this question we have to find out how many square meter of carpet is needed to cover the room and we have been given the length of a room which is 4 meters and we have been also given the breadth of a room which is 3 meters 50 centimeters thus the room is in rectangular shape students in order to find out how much square meter carpet is needed to cover a rectangular room we have to find out the area of a rectangular room so now let us solve sum number 7 and find out the area of a rectangular room in order to find out how many square meter carpet needed to cover the floor of the room after writing the necessary details given to us length of a room is given 4 meters breadth of a rectangular room is given 3 meters 50 centimeters equals to 3.50 or 3.5 meters therefore area of a rectangular room equals to how much does the area of a rectangular room equals to length multiplied by breadth equals to 4 multiplied by 3.5 equals to 14.0 of 14 square meters thus 14 square meters of carpet is needed to cover the floor of the room now sum number 8 a floor is 5 meter long and 4 meter wide a square carpet of side 3 meter is laid on the floor find the area of floor that is not carpeted students in this question we have to find out the area of the floor that is not carpeted it means that the area of the floor in which square carpet is not laid students we have been given the length and breadth of a floor which are 5 meter and 4 meters respectively students thus we can say that a floor is in rectangular shape students we have been also given the side of a square carpet which is 3 meters long students note that a floor is in rectangular shape and on the rectangular floor square carpet is laid down and we have to find out the area of a floor that is not carpet so in order to find out the area of the floor that is not carpeted we have to find out the area of a rectangular floor as well as area of a square carpet after finding out the area of a rectangular floor and area of carpet which is in square shape we have to find out 
the area of floor which is not carpeted students in order to find out the area of floor which is not carpeted we have to subtract the area of square carpet from the area of a rectangular floor so now let us solve sum number 8 land of a rectangular floor is given 5 meters breadth of a rectangular floor is given 4 meters therefore area of a rectangular floor equals to how much does area of a rectangular floor equals to length multiplied by breadth equals to pi multiplied by 4 equals to 20 square meters does the area of a rectangular floor is 20 square meters now let us find out the area of a square carpet area of square carpet equals to side multiplied by side equals to 3 multiplied by 3 equals to 9 square meters students now let us find out the area of floor which is not carpeted by subtracting area of square carpet from area of floor which we obtained does area of floor which is not carpeted equals to area of floor minus area of square carpet equals to 20 minus 9 equals to 11 square meters does the area of floor which is not carpeted is 11 square meters students we will solve sum number 9 10 and 11 afterwards